Welcome to the second part on how to paint a wart bearer chaos space marine. Once the wash is dried, I'm going to use um, lead belcher and I'm going to start base coating all of the uh, iron areas. It's a little bit different from the liquid gold, it doesn't shine that much, but it's just a differentiation about in between the silver and the iron parts. As you can see I already painted the uh, gun, I base, I primed it black and I just painted the lead belcher over it, over the metal areas and then I'm going with a detail brush to get all the details on the uh, armor. Next, I'm going to use Denef Stone or Rackard Flesh for the new range. And we're going to start base coating all of the bone areas, the horns and the skulls on the trophy rack. Trying to be very careful just not to uh, paint over any of the areas that I already painted. Next, I'm going to use Nolan Oil to uh, wash over the iron parts of the armor and don't forget the bolter. Just let it sit on the recesses of these areas that you painted uh, silver and be careful not to paint any of the uh, already painted areas. Next, I'm going to use Devlin Mud or Agrex Earthshade from the new range, and I'm going to wash all of the bone areas, which is only the uh, skull here and the uh, the horns. Now while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint the eyes. I'm going to use Kelvin Green to base coat the, the lens. Next I'm using Warpost Green to uh, highlight the uh, half front part of the lens. Next I'm going to use Mood Green and just Put a little dot on the very front of the lens, maybe 25% of the lens there. And the last step for the eye is to use white scar and put a little dot on the back of the uh, lens so that it simulates uh, sort of a reflection of light. I hope you can see it here. Next, I'm going to use Ushefti bone and I'm going to dry brush it over the uh, bone areas. Just take a large or medium br dry brush and uh, dry brush it over the horns. Uh, be careful to uh, use the brush with very little uh, paint on it, almost nothing of paint, just to get this effect that I'm uh, looking for on the horns that it's just uh, painting over the, uh, the uh, lines like this.
Next, I'm going to use Screaming Skull as a highlight for the uh, bone areas. And this time, I'm going to still uh, dry brush, but very minimal amount of paint, and concentrate it on the upper parts of the horns and the skull. Next, I'm going to highlight the uh, silver parts with uh, iron breaker. I should have said the iron parts, not the silver parts. We're done with the silver parts on the armor. This is just the details that are supposed to be uh, iron from the armor. So just dry brush it on the uh, pipes there. And for the uh, details, I'm going to use my detail brush here and just paint the. Uh, a little uh, highlights on this parts like here next I'm switching to the small dry brush and I'm going to dry brush the bolter very carefully not to hit any of the uh, previously painted parts Next, with Ab Abaddon Black, I'm going to clean up the uh, case of the bolter, just to make it black again. I'm just gonna paint a base coat of black. Next step, I'm going to use Codex Gray and I'm going to paint an edge, edge highlight for the case of the bolter. As you can see, I already painted the uh, details on the bolter with the uh, liquid silver because, well, it's a repetitive, repetitive step, I didn't do it. But it's basically the same step as before. Next, because I wanted to uh, give it a contrast, I'm going to paint this uh, trophy as a uh, salamander because uh, dark red would go well with a very pale green or a bright green. So I'm giving it a bit of a of a base coat in in warbus green first, and then a wash on thraka green. What I'm doing here on the armor is uh, I'm using uh, Administratum Gray, as you may have seen, and I'm making little uh, lines in the uh, random parts of the armor just to give it a, a sort of inscription like you see on the, uh, on the uh, Chaos Space Marine Codex. Next, I'm using a mix of uh, Warboss Green and Moot Green 50-50 to highlight the uh, salamander's um, helmet and then I'm using pure uh, mood green to highlight the very edges and that's a finished model I have to say I'm really proud of this miniature right now I I have it in my shelf and it looks really awesome, really clean, really really nice. So I figured this is a little bit uh, higher quality than my regular videos. Uh, please let me know what you think about it and uh, yeah, this is going to my collection. I would really like to have an army of uh, ward bearers, it, they look very awesome compared to other videos that I've done. This uh, is really uh, over the just over, over the ballpark, as you may say. It's a very nice color scheme. Here are some still pictures so that you can see it uh, much uh, closer or still.
please, if you like this tutorial, please uh, give a thumbs up, a like, and uh, I put a lot of effort to this tutorial so that it can look very uh, good. And uh, thank you very much for those that are subscribed and uh, leave comments. Uh, I really appreciate those. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching.